Welcome back to and this guides. In today's video, we are going to show you how to add contact form in card.com. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in card.com, I need you to click the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on screen instructions and you're good to go. Adding a contact form to your Cardaco site is a straightforward process, making it a valuable feature for both you and your visitors. Because as we all know, a contact form offers a direct and easy way for visitors to reach out to you without needing to manually send an email. In that sense, it allows users to get in touch directly from your site, making communication straightforward and accessible. Now for us to do that, all we're going to do is click the plus button here. Now click on the plus button again and I want you to click on the form. What will happen is you would be forwarded here in this section, but you can't see it, right? So let's try to move this one. We have a separate video on how to move your element. I'm not going to show that because I want you to check that on our YouTube channel. It's It will help with the views and our algorithm, all right? So I'm going to drag this form on the very top so it's a lot easier for us to navigate. Now, once I'm here on the contact form, you see you have a lot of options here. You can add an email. Okay, so I'm going to put in my email. Now, this is going to be my email. I'm going to copy it. That's andyguide at outlook.com. I'm going to switch over to my card. Now, it's optional, but I'm going to put it anyway. Andyguide. Okay, so I've heard that. Now you see the recipient's emails from this form's messages up to 10. You can leave empty to email this site's owner. All right. So it's up to you if you wanted to add the email. You can also check in the filter messages. You can automatically filter out messages with common spam content. You don't want to do that, right? Because it's going to be tedious. You're going to check if you experience issues receiving messages from this form. But for now, let's leave it with the check button. And on the completion, you can display a message right here or redirect to a url it's all up to you but for now i'm gonna be clicking on display message now what i wanted to put here is maybe like something like that now it displays the above message in an alert okay so now on the options you have the autofocus form which we're in the focus on this form as soon as the site loads so if it, this is going to be your priority, I want you to check the box. You can protect with reCAPTCHA. You can mitigate form spam and abuse using Google's reCAPTCHA version 2. I'm going to put this as an added layer of security. And if you wanted to collect UDM parameters, you can automatically include all detected UDM parameters with submissions of this form. I'm not going to dive deep into this one because this requires technical expertise if you are very um, savvy using the uh, card.co website. But for now, just leave it. But if you do, just click on it. There's an option that says reset and section change. You can automatically reset this form to its default values when changing sections. All right. So I'm going to leave it as it is. You can also export variables. Now, this is one of the most um, technical part of um, adding contact forms. Because when you do, you will allow variable level access to this form submitted values. You see, you can't access this without uh, upgrading your plan from the uh, basic free to the pro. Now, this side is one of the uh, most important part if you are uh, or on the developer's side or at the back end. You can enable debug mode because you can show detailed errors and failure like with additional debug information output to the console. And of course, in terms of the recapture, you can put in the site key or secret key because you have enabled that. And again, if you hover down to the uh, very top, if we don't select the recapture, basically the recapture at the bottom will um, will be gone. All right. You can click on it. There's going to be another option. You can put in your site key, your secret key, because remember, you need to select and be sure to recapture version 2 inside recapture badge when registering on this site. You can show badge and of course you can use the dark mode. It renders the capture badge using a darker color scheme. Once you're happy with that, all you're going to do is click on done. 
now you see you can also change the color of this um text all right that's going to be for a different um section you have separate fields here like the name i'm gonna put in maybe um name maybe andy's guides and for the email right here and the message okay you can put in your copy name your phone number as well click on that if you wanted to show that and of course the subject that's optional or the most important part of the marketing is to require content because you're going to be litigated and then you can of course change the message from i accept the above information will be used to contact me all right or maybe let's change that to this one click on done there's going to be another section at the top i want you to see there's going to be a, a label on the submit button here at the bottom now you can have an option to have it on default on click or require payment via stripe we are going to have a separate video about stripe and cardac co website let's leave that for now you see there's an option that says for the appearance you can change the width to your comfort level you can also change the spacing all right so if you feel like it's uh, your um it's a little bit claustrophobic you might want to check that uh, out it's up to you all right the alignment could be auto it could be um left you see i'm just um showing you all of the options that you have especially adding uh, the contact um contact form you can also use the mobile it's going to be auto optimize this element for viewing in mobile screens or manual i'm not going to do that because i wanted it to auto i just i wanted to save time now the animation is you see if you want to fade in the fade out there's a lot of that you can choose you can fade in you can have a replay button that is when um people are visiting your website here with uh, car.com you can bounce up so there's a lot it, you can also change the duration maybe like this one fade in you see to make it more dynamic you can even delay for a lot of seconds you can put in the uh, threshold like normal and replayable the button on hover is you can put in the fade in you can put it the fade out you see when we click on the play that's what's going to happen all right and once you're happy with that click on done and that's how you add contact form to your car.com and of doing so will improve the website's functionality enhance communication streamline information connection and of course provide a more user-friendly experience thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next video